Hi everyone, this is Claire Jarvis at Restore Fitness Therapies Pilates and in this video this morning we're going to do a little exercise called a dorsal raise. So it's often a preparation for some of our exercises where we're lying on our front to help us develop this required strength in the upper back to do um, other exercises like the dart or the swan dive for example. So in this exercise here you'll want to just come down onto your Pilates mat here. I'm not using a block to rest my forehead on but if you feel that you're uncomfortable lying face down down. You might like to just use one of our Pilates blocks if you have one or just a rolled up piece of clothing or a towel just to rest your forehead on so that you, your nose is not getting crushed and you've got a bit more space to breathe. Okay, but in this exercise we're going to come and lie down on our fronts here and for our dorsal raise the first option is to have our hands in a kind of diamond shape and the forehead just resting down on the hands here and we can just have the legs gently at about the width of the mat just to relax. So from here, and then our second option. And then our third option, we take the hands away from the mat to the forehead here, to that to the temple, sorry. And back down again. Okay guys, so that's three different options for you, getting progressively more difficult. Um, in all the options, we're trying to relax our lower body, including our glute muscles, because we've got the effort in our upper backs here. We're doing what we call a back extension, taking the spine slightly backwards from its neutral position. This isn't a position that we're used to day to day, so most of us do find these kind of exercises quite difficult. For most people, a lot of our movement is forwards, over computers, over phones, sitting, driving, sitting on soft sofas, things like that. So a lot of us are weak in the back, and this exercise is designed to help you strengthen those upper back muscles so that you can sit nice and stand nice and tall again. So you'll see the first option here, you're keeping the forearms down on the ground, then we raise slightly further to the hands, and then in the third option, the hands are coming away, so you've got no support through the arms. I take it quite gently with these exercises and say to my class, start with between about four and eight repetitions. If this is an exercise you find particularly easy for you, by all means go up to 12, but always go slow and steady using the rhythm of your breath. Try not to rush the exercise. It really doesn't matter how many repetitions you actually get through. Just think about being steady, trying to roll the shoulders back into position and using those upper back muscles to lift you from the ground there, okay? So have another little look at that video. It can be a bit of a tricksy exercise, but well worth having a go at it. Um, and as always, leave any comments or questions below if you'd like our help at all. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time.